Well, this is it. My last final moments in this apartment. It by no means looks like we're finished packing, but that's because we still have one more day of coming back and getting everything fixed up. I've condensed my items to survive off of just these things over here, um, which was pretty impressive for me. Also clothes, obviously. We've got our clothes over there. I'm just waiting for my husband to get back. Kind of anxious and a little, <laughs> and you get, you're gonna have to deal with the angles right now because I packed everything. I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit weird, a little anxious. Oh, I'm supposed to go yarn shopping if it's not too late because you know, they're running behind. <sighs> the next time I'll record should be in our new home. We're here. Uh, there's not enough light in here. We don't have everything fully set up. We actually technically camped last night. So we like, bare boned it. We didn't have heat. We didn't have lights. It was just us, the dog, and the night in the lake. Absolutely loving the scenery so far. It's so amazing. Yesterday, I'm calling day zero because we got here late, late, late at night and got set up still don't have heat i'm pretty cold um it hasn't been too too bad though 30s 40s which is not great uh i actually took a nap today the cold is making me sleep a little bit better and cuddling in the cold it was great and minjin did great he loves the cold seemingly he is a sheltie full purebred sheltie so only have electric we don't have the furnace running or anything and we're desperately trying to get the furnace running for heat um, but hopefully that gets figured out tonight and he'll be back home within like an hour. Um, we're about 30 minutes away from the city we used to live in, um, that we do not live in anymore. Um, but I'm not going to give you a tour yet because it is a disaster. <laughs> it is stuff everywhere. But I will show you, this is our little den. I'm already crocheting and we've got all our pillows set up. Dog's happy. You can see there's a door over there. We got a window. There's another window over here. But yeah, it has actually been very fun. Other than a few hiccups here and there, like I said, mainly just not having heat's the main hiccup. Yeah, it's going all so far. And I hope you loved the footage. Oh my God. I love it. Welcome back. So as you can see, I am outside. I'm kind of freezing. I got this church for my mother-in-law. I actually like it a lot. It's very warm. We've got Minjin. Whoa! Falling over. We've got Minjin. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna show you what the RV looks like. Well, the trailer looks like up close. Do keep in mind, we just moved, so we got evicted and we're still kind of figuring everything out. We have an old mattress from inside that we replaced with our newer, much nicer, not backbreaking mattress from our apartment. Um, today we got evicted fully, so 4 p.m. There's no, we're done. And so let's get into it. You may have seen from the first part when I did a little bit of a scenic drive video, whatever. But here's what she looks like. She is a 27 footer. Uh, it is a trail sport by R Vision, so it's no longer made anymore, which means repairs are going to be lovely. If you can't hear it, we've got a generator over there that was so kindly donated to us. We've got our propane tanks. Our friend donated these chairs to borrow. We've got some propane. And lastly, my favorite, my absolute favorite part of where I now live. You're right over there. The lake. <laughs> I love it out here. I'm cold, I'm freezing right now, but I love the lake it's so pretty i love the water there's geese and it's just it's so pretty and we can get up really close to the water minjin's actually been drinking it and i need to make sure that it's safe so not letting him drink too much of it but it's amazing 
We don't have Wi-Fi yet, but I might be able to upload a short video, either to shorts or an actual upload upload. But we're doing great. Come on, Midgen. He's learning the terrain. He's doing amazing. It's okay. Good job. Good job. Minjin's been doing amazing with his recall. But it's a little loud out here. It's a little cold. So let's go inside. All right. So. Get the door closed. All right. So she is very used. <laughs> She's very loved on. But this is her. Bed over here. Windows. Space heater. Couch. The little kitchenette. Right now, this is where Minjin's sleeping. We're probably gonna move him over there eventually. Like I said, she's very loved up on. She has a floor sinking in, which is completely fine. They actually reinforced it already, so it just looks bad. And the furnace over here, we got a propane fridge that's I don't think currently working because we don't have the rain propane actually turned on yet. Storage, bathroom, pantry, dog. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it off. Just gave you guys a really short tour. I've mainly been crocheting, cleaning up the place, and getting Minjin all settled. But it's been very fun. He chose to live in a trailer over getting a slumlord apartment because we didn't want to live in a crappy place. And for my mental health, it made so much more sense to live out in nature where there's no one bothering us. And the people that do come out here, we've had Boy Scouts and another person who's boondocking just like Les living on public land. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys later so I can get editing and chill out because I just did a whole bunch of cleaning for this video. It looks a lot better than it did before I started recording. I'll tell you that. But say bye, Minjin.